Today there's a discussion about Sri Lanka's national anthem. This was after singer Umara sang an opera rendition of the national anthem which sparked outrage from most Sri Lankans. While the Colombo liberal idiot class, well, as usual in matters of national pride, can't give two hoots. I don't know whether she gave an ode to the whole uh, trans conversation occurring in the West by changing the words from Mother Lanka to Mr. Lanka. Tonight, honestly, I'm not interested in that conversation, but I'm more interested in posing this question to every Sri Lankan. Why are we talking about our national anthem when most of us from both sides of the aisle has forgotten the true meaning of that anthem? Shouldn't this incident instead be calling us to really remember the true meaning of it and practice it in a manner that will fulfill the aspirations of this nation? Ananda Samrakon didn't write some words and compose a tune to make sure that you sing like there is no tomorrow. He made an anthem which has a meaning that would fuel your Sri Lankan nationalism and nationalistic pride and a calling for everyone to work hard for Mother Lanka. We forget the true meaning of our anthem and that's why most of them forget what to say. Now, there is this beautiful verse which we always sing but never practice which goes as Ekka mavaka gedaru kalabavina yamu yamu veenu pama prema vada samabeda durarada namo namo mata Perhaps it's time to start practicing the national anthem. On a programming note, State of the Nation will take a break in the next few weeks of August and will return back in September with a refreshed look to talk about issues that matter to you. And also, do get in touch with us as we would like to hear your views, feedbacks and suggestions. You can write to us about anything you saw on the program. You agree, disagree. Please send us your comments to stateofthenation at derana.lk.